Greetings, true believers, and welcome back to Spider-Man. Now, last time we finished the main storyline of the game, but of course there is still some stuff that we have to show off. Namely, the side content episodes that we kind of skipped in order to get to the end of the storyline before the Heath death of the universe. So we have a bunch of collectibles and side missions and all that stuff. So let's get on with it. The Spidey Squad. My one and only fan club. When Jameson's going off on me, it helps to remember they're out there. Wonder if Flash Thompson still runs the fan club. He used to do that in the comics very early on. That was back in high school, of course, so... Maybe not anymore, but, but who knows. Okay, this one confounded me for a while. Apparently Spider-Man's been seen throughout the city tampering with steam regulators. Aside from generally being a vandal and a troublemaker, why would he do this? I'll tell you why. Because when the city has to send crews out to fix these problems, they need police to direct traffic around them. That's officers who aren't stopping crime. Which leaves, say it with me, Spider-Man. He's trying to take our brave officer's jobs. Right. And the suit that we are wearing at the moment is one of the Fantastic Four themed suits that were added in a patch a while ago. This is the Future Foundation suit. Rejected costume designs. Not bad, but I think the White Spider was definitely the way to go. One of those looks like the White Power Ranger from... One of the early seasons. But yeah, speaking of white, yeah, this future foundation suit was worn by Spider-Man when Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, had seemingly died, and Spider-Man was drafted in to basically replace him. And the team called itself the Future Foundation at that point. Also here you can see that my fleet of drones does a pretty good job with these guys in the combat challenge. Oh yeah, I'm awesome. And yeah, I had already gotten the silver medal from that, so I only got the three tokens that you get from gold. When you replay it for the gold. Anyway, here is a challenge stuff that we have not shown off yet. Ah, longtime caller Officer Andrews is back with us. As always, thank you for your service to our fair city, Officer. What's new? Mr. Jameson, you know I'm a fan, but I just saw Spider-Man in action. I worked with him to stop Wilson Fisk's men from stealing back their hard drives. And he's a stand-up guy. Now wait a second, my friend. I'm not questioning your word. I'm sure what you said happened. But have you considered that it was in Spider-Man's interest to help you? How so? He obviously had a long-standing feud with Fisk and wants him put away. That doesn't make him Mother Teresa. It just means he had a grudge. Look, I hear you, but why can't we give him the benefit of the doubt? Why? Because he hides behind that mask. You train. You stand up with your badge and name tag on and you do your job every day. He runs and hides. If you cause the kind of damage he does, what would happen? I'd be doing paperwork until the day I retire. And probably writing a death, too. And why, my dear friend, should you have to follow these rules and not him? You know, that's a damn good point. I know you'd come around. Well, great, looks like we lost Officer Andrews again. Thanks a lot, Jonah, for everything you do. Mercenaries kidnapped a Roxxon exec and strapped an explosive vest on him. If they see you, they kill him. Tick tock. If they see me, the hostage is dead. So, yeah, the Taskmaster stealth challenges. In these, we have to take down a number of enemies. In this case, we have 10 left. Out of 11. Of course, we have to do this 
within a time limit and we cannot be seen whatsoever or the hostage will get killed. Even if there is nobody like right next to him, even if it's a an enemy somewhere on the other side of the map basically. Yeah, if we get seen, we still fail. Even if nobody is actively pointing a gun at the hostage. And you also saw me use the blur projector, which is this suit suit power. There at one point. It's supposed to make you invisible to enemies that are not actively looking for you, but... I'm not sure it's not really been all that reliable for me. Maybe I'm just stupid and can't use it, which would really not surprise me in the slightest. But we seem to be just about done with the guys on the rooftop, so... Let's head down there. And take down the rest. That took a few attempts, but once you kind of memorize the route, and yet you sound like you want to kill me. Not yet. I have so much more to learn. Sit tight. Wait for the. Yeah, memorization is a big part of the stealth challenges, which is kind of unfortunate, because there is really only one real route to doing it, I think. I don't know, maybe if you can improvise better than I do. They're showing off the Daily Bugle collectibles again. Right, so the other Fantastic Four themed suit in that earlier update was... The Bombastic Bagman. Basically, this originated in one of the comics from the 80s when it was during the Alien Symbiote saga. When um, Peter had realized that the symbiote was alive and was trying to fuse with him or... Savvy listeners don't need me to tell you that the demons, cult, gang, terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. I was home in my building when we got word there were demons on the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off when we tried to leave. Despicable. Fortunately, the police and the bomb squad handled the situation. And the fireman, he... Jared, cut the call! <laughs> Sorry, hard to hear when we're talking over each other. Clearly some... Yuri, this place is full of fist guys with suspicious bulges. Uh, uh, guns. I, I'm, I'm talking about guns. Obviously. I can't order a raid over bulges. Just a hunch, but there might be a public disturbance pretty soon. So yeah, this suit... Um... Yeah, when the when Peter realized that the alien costume was trying to bond with him, he took it to Reed Richards at the Baxter building and and wanted him to study it. And he left it there with him. Of course that meant that he did not have a costume. Bring him down already. More guys? Okay, form an orderly line. I promise I'll arrest everyone. So they just kind of whipped this up. It's sad that when I see a mob rushing toward me, I assume they want to kill me. But they always do. So am I. Spider-Man. Every worker assigned to that site reported winning big in Atlantic City recently. Quick and dirty way to launder money. Could be where Fist keeps his cash these days. We shut it down. We'll really put the squeeze on it. I'm working on a warrant. Way ahead of you. Have some of this. Reinforcements. Great. I was getting kind of sick of these other guys. <laughs> Find someone who cares about you like Willy 
these guys care about getting kicked in the face, then you'll be golden! Your people won't have any problems here now. And Wilson Fisk's problems just keep adding up. Nice going. Yeah, originally the Bombastic Bagman suit did not have shoes or web shooters either, so it's a little bit different than it was in the comic, but it's still very much recognizable. Also, no kick me sign on the back, which was put there by Johnny Storm. But never mind that, because now it's time to test out the spider bot. Hey Pete, now this station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, but I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park. So that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park. You know, like you do. Now, spider bots were actually, I believe, the invention of Otto Octavius during the Superior Spider-Man run. Okay, it's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. He kind of sent them to monitor the city and... and, you know, give him signals back whenever something was going on. That sort of thing. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. Well, this does also have the cap capability to fire EMP blasts, which is not really... doesn't really comply with all the regulations for children's toys, I would say. So maybe don't let your kids play with the spider bot. Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Oh, sadly, Spiderbot cannot buy newspapers. Looks like it made it quite a ways. If I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Damn, pigeon's always screwing us up. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot. I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. Um, Spidey, you kinda missed one. You left one there in the nest. Oh well. Right, so as much as everybody loves the bombastic bagman, we also have to show off some of the other suits, and we can now craft the Spider Armor Mark IV. 
created by Parker Industries. It's basically just a shinier version of the classic suit. With a nice light up emblem on the chest and light up eyes as well. So let's put it through its paces here in this combat challenge. Need to stop those mercenaries fast. I think the um, suit power for this was temporary immunity to all damage, which is of course pretty useful, but it's not something that we particularly need in this. Because here we have to get through this sort of path really, really fast. And for that reason, I have equipped the quad damage. The quad damage power, which makes quick work of these guys. Because you absolutely have no time to waste in this. Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good about myself right now. Yeah, that took a couple of tries as well. more research. What have they got for us now? We'll see as soon as I manage to press the correct button. This is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Yeah, you do get slightly different lines if you play some of these missions after you discover the truth about Harry's condition. But since it's earlier in the game... Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building. And the tallest one around is Oscorp. Wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Yes, since this is earlier in the game, we don't yet know what's going on with Harry, so we still think that he is in Europe. We don't actually have to climb the Oscorp building for this first... Yeah, thank you, Spider-Man. Yeah, if the game thinks that you are starting to dive and don't dive far enough, then Spider-Man will just complain, oh, you screwed it up. Yeah, we don't actually have to go all the way up to the Oscorp building for this first part of this, because it just has to be, like, one meters, uh, 100 meters, so... Woo, got it! Now I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Yeah, we could have easily done that from another building. Good work! Now if I can just keep from throwing up. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. Wonder how many G's that is. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. It won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Very astute. Also, I don't really want to know what's in that water. In general. So yeah, we still got a couple of landmarks and a few collectibles as well to to grab. But this one's kind of annoying. It's a bit fiddly to get.
But that should do it. The last ball game Uncle Ben ever took me to. I need to get this framed. I could really use his advice now. I have seen pedestrians walk around with a torture's jersey and that always looked like a hockey jersey. I did not realize that they were a basketball team. Obviously, no licenses for any real life teams. The raft. When a regular maximum security prison just isn't enough. Yeah, that is a place we know very well by now. Whoa, nice synchronized falling. Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just here to grab the backpack I forgot. Officers near Vanderbilt, be advised. Now this is actually kind of annoying because if there's anything protruding from the wall that you're tr trying to climb, yeah, you just kind of get stuck and it's kind of janky and stupid. Jameson gave me this at his bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. Yeah, maybe they could tighten up the wall climbing a little bit or wall crawling a little bit in the sequel. And finally, let's just snap a picture of the Avengers Tower. Avengers Towers. And the line gets cut off because of course it does. For no apparent reason. Also, we didn't really get a very good look at the tower, but we will get one eventually. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.